Send him a pizza party! Every time I have something to eat in this house. I just got a parcel. Thank you so much. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> I'm me again, welcome back to X Media X and another weekly vlog. Um, so it's very, very sunny today. So I'm in my little teeny tiny outfit and I've been doing, and my emails outside, I've been answering them, sat in the sunshine and it's been really, really nice. Um, I haven't got any makeup on. I'm just literally just look an absolute hot mess today, but it's so sunny that I wanted to just enjoy the sunshine. Although it's really frustrating because I can't do any of my editing out there because some nobody's invented something yet, have they? That allows you to see your screen when it's really bright outside. If they have, please Please let me know because that would be amazing to do all of my work out there but for now I'm having my coffee and I'm answering my emails outside and it's glorious. So we've got something special for the vlog this week. Uh, this week I have been contacted by a company called Happy Box London and they asked me if I wanted to send some gifts to special people in my life. So Happy Box London are basically a company that you can just send boxes of good stuff to people that you love, um, either for an occasion, like a birthday, or um, like a new baby, or something like that, or just to cheer them up. And that's what we're gonna be doing this week. So they have given me three boxes that I can send out, and I have sent them to three different people. So I've got one for Lucy, because um, she's been working so, so hard recently, and I just think she deserves a bit of a relax. Um, I've sent one to Matt because he was super super upset after his operation got cancelled last week and um, fingers crossed it's going to be happening this Thursday so we find out on Wednesday I really hope it goes through for him because oh, he's been waiting so long for this operation basically he's having like part of his jaw removed because he can't breathe properly and yeah it's a big operation so I um, want to him to just cheer him up a little bit and I'm sending one to Lauren because she's just been working really hard on her channel recently and I want her to know that someone has noticed so Lauren's is on the way to her now so uh, she will get that through the post because obviously she doesn't live around here so I can't see her and I've got Matt's and Lucy's to give them here so I'm gonna be giving those to them as I see them throughout the week and hopefully cheer them up a little bit so yeah I'll leave a link to Happy Box London down below if you want to check them out and send somebody that you love a little gift uh, but I'll show you what's inside the boxes as they open them this week good morning guys happy tuesday so um i've spent my morning writing a bumper post on um practical tips for people suffering from depression to go up on the blog this week and honestly it's taken a lot out of me writing that um so much thought and love and care has gone into that blog post and obviously having to think about things in my own life to draw on my own experiences um, has been tough. So yeah, I'm just having a cup of tea <laughs> and a slice of toast with some peanut butter for a bit of sugar boost. Uh, cause I just, yeah, it's proper got me. Don't know why, but I put so much love into that post and I really, really hope it helps even just one person. Um, it's going live tomorrow. So yeah, if you read it and it helps or you can think of anybody that might find it helpful please 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 do share it um either pin it on pinterest share it on um twitter or on your facebook page i i really think it will help people so i hope it does <sighs> right so i just feel a bit funny after i write it it's just um yeah it's just got me a bit so i'm gonna have my tea and eat my toast um and catch up on a bit of this morning <laughs> before i start with my next project for the day which is a lip plumper video i tried a lip plumper um serum thing that i got sent and believe it or not it actually bloody worked <laughs> i can't believe it so uh yeah i filmed a little first impressions review and it's quite funny so i'm putting that up for you guys so if you want to check that out that'll be on the channel uh, and then I'm going to get my hair toned because uh, Francesco's are amazing and they booked me in for a six week checkup appointment just to make sure that the colour I had was sitting nicely and wearing well, uh, which I think it is, but uh, we need to sort out the front bits because the sun has turned them super white. So yeah, I feel like that's, uh, that's much needed today. <laughs> An hour or so sat in the chair, having a little bit of a pamper, um, answering emails, much needed after this morning. Ah, oh, my hair feels super refreshed after seeing Francesco, amazing. Um, and we sorted out the front bits, 
finally ah oh, finally i feel like my hair color is close to what it was before like my roots are close to being natural and then the blonde bits which i normally get when i'm in the sun anyway yeah it's all good um so i'm back now obviously i was sitting in the chair and i was thinking i am absolutely starving why am i so hungry i realized i've only had a piece of toast today i completely missed lunch and it's now 20 to 6 <laughs> so i'm having a little mackerel salad with a bit of hummus um because it needs eating and i'm just don't feel like i think it's too early for dinner so having like a half lunch and then i'll figure something out later um but i'm gonna eat that take two for a wa okay um, and then crack on with some of the work. I think I'm just going to work tonight. Um, great news. Matt's having his operation tomorrow. They've literally pulled it forward and said that he could have his operation tomorrow. So he's got a bed and everything and he's going for it. Oh, it's amazing. I'm so happy for him. It's been like two years with those braces on and like pulling jaws around. Um, and finally he's having it done. So I might pop in on him, give him his happy box. So he's got something to keep him going to make sure, you know, he stays happy tomorrow and positive for the operation because it's a big operation. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drop that in on him and then just work until Love Island at nine. <laughs> Have you found a ball? Is that your ball that you lost the other day? It bloody well is. Aren't you clever? Come on then, let's have a play. <laughs> uh, it's not your present. It's your present. It's for you. Open it, open it. Thank you. It's exciting. It's a happy box. I want to see what's inside. Oh. <laughs> Little messy boy room. Mm. Gummies. Body wash. Boy body Papaya. Wash. Ooh, nice. Tension thing. Oh no, socks. <gasps> Very nice. They're fancy. Oh, with a man oh, with a nice. penny farthing. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you didn't even read the card. Oh, no, I was too keen to see the... Yay! Okay. Present for you! Do you like it? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it is currently 10 to midnight and I'm still going, but you know what, I'm on such a roll that I just don't want to stop until I'm finished. I'm so, so very nearly close to being done. I did stop for an hour and watch Love Island, gave myself a little bit of a break. It's the only telly I've watched today. Uh, and I did a little Facebook Live with all my Patreon guys, which is really nice to catch up with you. Um, but apart from that, it's just been work, work, work all day. But um, I'm gonna power through, finish it all off, and then hopefully when I speak to you tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> I won't have been up until like 3am and I will have another thing ticked off my endless to-do list. Morning everybody, happy Wednesday. So I didn't actually get to bed until 2am last night, I didn't finish. But something has dropped through my door today that is making me happy <laughs> and it's making me get through the early morning despite the late night so do you know the yellow raincoat that I got from boohoo.com? Well, Toby. Come here. <gasps> You've got a matching raincoat. Oh my God. <laughs> it literally is the same coat. It's even got the same lining. Oh, you look adorable. When it rains and we go for a walk, we are gonna be the cutest couple ever. <laughs> so it's from a company called Ellie Dogwear and you can get them on Amazon. I will leave a link down below to this coat and to my yellow raincoat in case anybody would like to uh, match with their dog because why wouldn't you? I mean, <laughs> this is just the best thing ever. Every time I have something to eat in this house. <laughs> it's a good job you're cute. Hey. You're sitting very nicely. <laughs> Licking your lips. Okay, you can have some carrot. Oh, I'm going a bit stir crazy today. Really need some fresh air, even though it does look like it's about to chuck it down. I'm gonna make the long walk to the sorting office to go and pick up a parcel, which I have a feeling is gonna be the most boring parcel ever. It's like a um, stake that you put in the ground 
not a steak steak <laughs> it's like a pole thing that you put in the ground that you can attach the dogs to um if you go camping or have a picnic i need some steps to get some steps in for the day and so does this one because he's driving me mad uh so yeah i'm gonna like do a really really long walk probably just for a little steak um yeah, pointless really, but just need some fresh air and need some exercise. And he is climbing the walls as well. In other news, how cute is this top from Primark? It was three pounds and it's got a little tassel where the uh, where the broom is. I love it. I've also just messaged our friend group um, to see if anybody wants to go to the cinema with me tonight. Because I've got the meerkat movie things that you get when you like, um, get your car insurance and stuff, you know, the two for one cinema ticket on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I never use it. Um, I really want to see Deadpool, tool, uh, Deadpool 2, but I haven't got a chance to see it yet. And to be honest, I just really need some human interaction today. Um, I've been working non-stop this week, flat out, straight away so far. And yeah, I could just really use seeing and talking to another human. Is that really sad? It's really difficult sometimes when you work on your own um, and live on your own as well. I just feel like for my, my old brain, I need to need to go out, not work another late one, and uh, yeah, talk to an actual real life human. But I'm not sure if anyone's free, so that would suck. I just got a parcel. <gasps> Dear Lauren, really proud of you for how hard you're working right now. You're killing it. Keep going, XAX. Mm. I got honey with the comb in it. I've never seen that, ever. And Rococo chocolate, amazing. That's a lovely coloured box. Lovely packaging, I feel like it's my birthday. That is so cute. I've never had one of these in my life. I am officially cool. That is so sweet. So, 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 look at me being a creep looking over the top. Thank you. This, honestly, I did not expect this. Oh, I've got something else! Scented candle! Thank you so much. You've made my day. I'm definitely happy. So it is quarter to eight and I have roped Sam into coming to see Deadpool with me. <laughs> I really need to just get out of the house. I need to have an evening off work that I don't stay up until like 2am finishing stuff even though I've still got loads to do. Um, and I just need to take my mind off stuff and get out there. So yeah, we're gonna go to the cinema, watch that, maybe have a few cheeky sweeties or an ice cream or something. What do I fancy? Fancy chocolate today. Don't normally ever crave chocolate, but I kind of fancy today. I need the sugar rush. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the plan. So I'm gonna leave you guys here, cause cinema, and I'll catch you with you later. Hey team, this is flattering, isn't it? I'm just driving back from the cinema. Um, Deadpool was awesome. Like, absolutely loved it. Really, really funny. All I want is a man with Ryan Reynolds' sense of humor and face and voice and biceps and bank account. That's all I want. Like, I'm not asking for much, I don't think. Okay, you can keep the bank account, just his personality, sense of humor, face, biceps, and abs. Where is this man hiding? Sam and I also realized that you can order pizza in that cinema. Like, people kept coming in with boxes of pizza, and we were like, how is this happening? Why do we not have pizza? So guess what is happening the next time we go and see a film? Cinema pizza party! Sorry, I am a little bit high from all the sugar in that popcorn. So I'm currently avoiding, well obviously I'm avoiding it because I'm driving, but um, at all times avoiding my phone because I do not want to see who got recoupled with who in Love Island. I'm going home, I'm letting Toby out, I'm putting my pyjamas on and I'm turning on that episode. <laughs> and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to watch it and I'm not going to look at Twitter until it's over. Although with how long these red lights are taking, I feel like the whole season of Love Island might be over by the time we get home. Oh, it's a three way. That's why. Bloody three ways. Always causing trouble. Yeah, feel better after having some human interaction. Feels good, feels good. Morning guys, how is it Thursday already? My goodness me, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. It's vile outside, it is so windy. <laughs> what is going on with my hair? Oh my goodness, I look like words or garbage. Literally just woken up. Um, yeah, so I've just been sat down through my phone. A bit gutted, you know that blog post on depression that I poured my entire heart and soul into? It's just hardly anybody, I don't think anybody's like, 
um, interacted with it at all. Like, a few people have viewed it, but yeah, I just kind of was hoping that I'd be able to help a lot of people with it and like people would step up and share it and um, spread the word because I really do think it's useful for people and it just sucks because like I put everything into that blog post and I don't know I just thought I just kind of thought I could make a difference and it just sucks a bit I put out that blog post that I put out on the best purple shampoos for balloted hair has had like a boatload of response which is great but like this is a really important one this is more important than shampoo <sighs> never mind maybe, maybe it will get some traction or maybe it's silently helping people I assume with something like this it's probably silently helping people um Maybe I could do a blog post on how to look like a knobhead with <laughs> short hair. Pretty much got that nailed. Hey team, so I'm out and about dressed as a poodle apparently. What is going on with this hair? Um, I'm just off to Tesco to get some ingredients for my recipe video that I'm doing this afternoon. So I'm doing a recipe video with those pans that I've been banging on about, the uh, company called Xylus. They're amazing, genuinely. And I appreciate the fact that lots of you guys appreciate that in the comments. <laughs> You're all as old and as boring as I am. Ha! Um, but no, they're genuinely, they're really, really good. So we're doing a little pasta recipe together. And this recipe is something that I have had and I've been cooking for absolutely donkey's years. I remember I cooked it on New Year's Eve once for my old, old boyfriend, Alex. So we're talking like 10 years ago. And it was just so easy and so tasty. So uh, I'm passing it on to you guys. Uh, it's basically, if you want to cook for someone and impress them, <clears throat> but don't wanna have to do too much, this is the recipe for you. If you want something nice and naughty to eat on a Friday night, this is the recipe for you. Or if you just want something really tasty midweek that's super quick to cook, it's the recipe for you. It's so nice. It's basically like crab with uh, white wine, butter and garlic sauce, bit of chili, bit of spinach, and fresh tag tally. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, well that turned into a bit of a mission, but I managed to get a throw, which will be perfect for my picnics for £3.50. How cute is that? That's like well nice. I'm going to stick that on the end of my bed as well. Love it. Um, and picked up a few other bits and bobs. You guys have been recommending the Arla protein yogurts. They're like 20 grams of protein per pot. So I picked up a few of those because they're on offer. Um, got my daddy a Father's Day card. I also met the most adorable girl on the checkouts at Tesco who was really sweet and chatty and lovely and she's studying uh, like communications and social media at uni and stuff and she wants to be a blogger and it was just it was just really nice chatting to her behind the scenes of my latest recipe video that is worrying me but it's getting a really good shot from above of me chopping that one's doing from the side chopping Toby's trying to steal food it's not gonna happen mate get down and they are the pans ready to go it's so beautiful yeah looking good hopefully it's gonna turn out well look how much effort is going into this guys Please go watch it. <laughs> oh my God, that was an epic filming task. It took so long to film, like so long to film, to the point where my food was actually cold by the time I got to eat it, but it tasted really good. So yeah, if, uh, please go and watch the video. <laughs> please go and watch the video and leave me a comment because I'm really pleased with it. To be honest, it was just me being a bit of a perfectionist, I think, because I really wanted to do well on this one. Uh, obviously I'm trying to up my game all across my channel and my blog so yeah I'm hoping it's gonna turn out well I've got about 45 minutes or about half an hour to check the footage and everything um, and then I'm gonna go pottery painting with Lucy because I need to give her her happy box um, and she wants to make something for her dad for Father's Day I think and I might do the same uh, and then I'm gonna come back and I've got an evening of editing ahead of me Oh, what's that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh, my goodness, Neo. Oh, Neo, yeah. That's good, I've got that. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, no, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Morning everyone, happy Friday. Oh, I need to wash my hair. It's gone super greasy this week. I don't know why. Normally when I go to the salon, it lasts for ages. Like when I was on the cruise, um, Helen did some curls in it 
and they lasted for like five days i didn't have to touch them up or anything she used like this uh, special wand I, I can't remember which one it was i keep meaning to ask her um but i don't know how she does it but yeah it feels like it needs washing today so i'm just gonna jump in the shower and do it because it's short and i can i uh, just had a delivery through from Boots of all people. So um, the PR was watching my vlog the other week and obviously I've started to take protein powder. They have just launched a range of protein powder. I wouldn't have even thought about the fact that Boots might do their own protein powder. You kind of think it's reserved for people like Protein Works and my protein and stuff, um, but they have and it's plant protein. So um, I can have it. <laughs> and it's two very different flavors. Which is amazing because I've got the chocolate silk thing and to be honest, I don't really have that much of a sweet tooth. So for me, I really have to make an effort to drink it. Um, I'm much more a savoury girl or whatever. Um, and these can go in my juices. So obviously I have my juices with like kale and spinach and lemon and ginger and stuff. These are designed for mixing into smoothies like that. So it's got chlorella matcha, spirulina, spinach and apple, this green one. Um, and it's a soy plant protein. It's got 112 calories per serving and 20 grams of protein. Um, that one's meant to be really, really good for you. That's spirulina and chlorella, I've heard loads about them. And then they've also got this one, which is goji berry, pomegranate, beetroot, strawberry and raspberry really nice that one will probably be nice with like a banana as well um i'm gonna give these a go a verdict on the boots uh berry protein let's give it a go mm. that's really nice so i've just blended it with half banana a frozen banana um and some frozen red berries and some soy milk and water it's really nice it's super thick and creamy it's nice, it just tastes like um, porridge that you've put some berries on top of. It's really nice. Well done, Boots, yay! Something even more exciting dropped through my letterbox today and that is this t-shirt that I am wearing. It says, Bloom from the Darkness with a Lotus Flower and it's actually my t-shirt that I've had made because you guys have said that you wanted um, like merchandise or something to buy for such a long time um, but I didn't want to just make crap. Do you know what I mean? I just didn't want to make crap. And to be honest, the whole making merchandise thing is a minefield and it can cost a lot of money, which obviously I don't have. So I put a lot of thought into things and I was thinking, how am I going to do it? Because I really want to do something with you guys, but I don't want to just do it to make a quick book. So we're having these t-shirts made and every sale is going to be going to uh, Mind, which is a UK mental health charity. Um, and yeah i just it's it's a real symbol for everything that i've come through um the breakup my depression everything and i just wanted to give back with them so i'm not doing it to make money but i want to give something back to charity and give something for you guys as well so i think they're really cool i'm really impressed that it came through my door today so i could check the quality and see how they fit and stuff i really 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 like them they're unisex so boys and girls can buy them you can buy them as presents as well um and i'm just sorting things out with the company now to figure out um distribution and price points and shipping and all that jazz so yeah Stay tuned if you want to find out more. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing something really, really good with these. A really good thing. And hopefully we can make a lot of money for charity as well. Um, a charity that's very close to my heart. So stay tuned and I will give you more information when they are live and ready to go. Lucy's coming around later for pizza and wine. I'm very excited. I kind of wish it was 7pm already. <laughs> I've got lots of editing ahead of me. Lucy has gone out to fetch pizza and we are on our very, very nice wine from Aldi, by the way. I need to show you the bottle. It's called Freeman's Bay and it's like £5.59 for a Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc. It's really very, very good wine. I like it. Uh, so, yeah. Lucy's gone out to get pizza. I am currently looking through Love Island tweets and it starts in T minus 10 minutes. She's gonna hate it. No pizza for you. No. No. <laughs> it's my pizza. <laughs> Lucy's phone. She was just, she was accidentally pressing me. She was like, oh, go away, Siri. And he was like, goodbye would be more polite. <laughs> 
sassy. Siri with the sass. Um, how are you feeling about Love Island so far? On a scale of one to ten, how much do you hate it? Minus flipping. <laughs> Come on, Alex. Oh, I'm in need of a coffee this morning. Poor little Toby bum was sick this morning, about 5 a.m. Just in my, came to my bedroom and was just sick on the floor. I think he tried to wake me up, but obviously I was dead to the world. And then he was just sick on the floor and I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I'm just a little bit worrying, but he seems fine, like he's perky as anything now. And uh, yeah, so I had to get up at 5 a.m. and get the carpet cleaner out of the cupboard and like, get that on because genuinely <laughs> there was no saving that <laughs> um, but it's come up really nicely that bloody carpet cleaner has been such a godsend ever since i got it all those years ago it's genuinely really good but now he's like i want breakfast uh, and he can't have breakfast you can have something at lunchtime and get some plain rice for you seems fine now um anyway so yeah i'm knackered there's a product that i was meaning to talk to you about today so I've raved about this on my blog and my vlog many, many times, but I just haven't used it in a while. Um, and I had a little cry on Wednesday because my skin at the moment is so bad. Um, I think it's just the diet change and stress from work and stuff. And yeah, it was really, really bad. I had like raised bumps all on my cheeks, all around here, that bad boy there, on my forehead, everything. And I was like, right. I need to I need to dig out this product used it overnight and genuinely I woke up none of those were raising all there was a really big one down there that just disappeared these have all gone down I've just left with the red marks but then the spots are actually there that one on my nose which is a repeat offender is now flat and dry and just sort of like healing that one's gone down all the ones on my forehead overnight disappeared if I had this product when I was a 16 year old like really really badly suffering from acne and feeling miserable I would have it would have just been incredible so this is what it looks like it's tiny like genuinely it's tiny I don't think it's the cheapest product in the world either but I don't think it's like super for what it does I'd pay about 40 quid for this little bottle and I've had this bottle for ages as well a little goes a very very long way it's like a gel so like a tiny bit on the spot like the size of the spot is all you need it works overnight. It's like a miracle product. I don't understand how it works. I've used it for two nights in a row now and like it's nearly fully cleared up. Well, it's fully cleared up. I've just left with the red marks now that will just go away with a bit of moisturizer use. I, if you suffer from spots, if you suffer from acne, please, please buy this, give it a go. It's worth taking a punt on because for me, it is genuinely, a miracle worker like I have rebought this twice since they sent it me originally because it just it works wonders <laughs> so uh, I haven't felt miserable about my skin for a long time um I don't know just kind of as maybe I'm getting older maybe it's getting a little bit better but on Wednesday I did have a little bit of a cry and I remembered how horrible it felt like I didn't want to leave the house it was that bad so it, I, I just urge you if you have <laughs> acne or spots or anything i will leave a link in the info bar down there to that product go and click on it and buy it and just give it a go because it is freaking miserable when your skin is horrible and you feel crap about it but genuinely i forgot how incredible that product is it was like a miracle worker so i really really hope it works for you just saying i am so bored so bored I've done some work, I've caught up on some telly, I've done some cleaning, I'm just, I'm going mad, so I'm going to head out to Home Bargains, I think, because um, Maggie says that they've got some nice side tables, so I'm going to go and have a, a peruse around there and uh, see if there's anything to buy, not that I've got any spare money to go willy-nilly buying stuff, but I think they're only 20 quid, so, uh, oh no, actually no, I saw one online for 11.99, that was it. If I can find that one I'll be a very happy bunny because it looks just like the right size um but yeah yes Toby it's lip balm it's so funny whenever I put on any like new skincare he's like getting right in your face smell it's like you smell different mummy they smell different have you had your rice you wolfed it down you made me feel bad for starving you but that's what you got to do when you've been poorly did you enjoy your rice did you 
He says no. It was the crappiest food ever. <laughs> there we have my new little table it's actually really cute it's a little bit big for there um but it'll be good for future houses it's just it's just gonna be handy it's just gonna be handy to put stuff on and it's like a fake marble effect so that'll be really good for like flat lays of products and stuff toby seems to like it really easy to put together what do you think tobster nice new table yes i feel like i've actually accomplished something today now cheers <laughs> Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. Uh, so my mum and dad are coming up today. They, I didn't think they were gonna be able to because they were really busy, but turns out that their plans have changed and now they're able to come up, which is really nice because it's Father's Day, so it'll be good to see dad. Uh, got his bottle of whiskey ready, <laughs> his go-to Father's Day present. Like father, like daughter, get me a bottle of champagne, you know that you're winning, get him a bottle of whiskey. Everyone's happy. So, uh, yeah, very exciting. Where's your grandma granddad? Go for a walk. That's nice, isn't it? Yes. I shouldn't have said the WA. Okay, word. Hey, team. Um, it's actually Monday today. Sorry, I fell asleep on the sofa last night after Love Island and forgot to round off the vlog. The vlog. <laughs> I've just been so tired this week. I've been barely sleeping and... Um, yeah, last night was no exception. I kind of woke up at like 1 a.m. and then couldn't get back to sleep and yeah, it's been crap. So um, anyway, I'm gonna take next week off from the vlog because this was a real struggle this week to try and actually film content for you. Because uh, I was just at home working all the time and I barely even saw anybody and because I haven't been sleeping when I did see people, I just, I didn't want to film. I just kind of wanted to talk to another human and um, socialise a little bit. So this week's going to be exactly the same. I've got no plans for the weekend again. <laughs> um, I think me and Sam might go and see... Uh, Jurassic Park and eat pizza but apart from that that is about it I've got two Bumble events as well so that's going to monopolise um, an evening and one of my days of the weekend to working so um, yeah I think I'm not going to vlog next week if that's okay um, I've got other content coming for you uh, video wise and loads on the blog thank you so much for all of your comments one second not a very patient me today uh, and yesterday he ate an entire sandwich off the table because I didn't have any food in the house. So I just nipped over to Tesco, um, thought I'd grab myself a nice healthy sandwich just super, super quickly. Um, so just to fuel me through the day when mum and dad came over, left it on the table for like two minutes. And because Toby's not been very poorly, I had to, the vet said to starve him for like 12 hours and then slowly introduce like rice and stuff. He was obviously starving, bless him, after he'd, you know, he'd had a day of not really eating much. So he's hungry and he's a dog, but he stole my sandwich off the table and I hit my roof. I was like, yeah. Uh, anyway, so it's gonna be another, boring week I'm afraid I've got so much on um, but there are loads and loads of videos for you guys to watch thank you so much for all of your lovely comments on the vlog and on my recipe video it means so much it really does um, comments really really help us youtubers out um, like business wise but they also <laughs> really help mental wise to know that because I mean, you can see the views but you know it's not until someone actually leaves a comment that you go oh that person actually really enjoyed it they watched it and they enjoyed it um so they really they really help us out because a lot of the time we don't get a lot of feedback do you know what i mean we get a lot of negative feedback oh my goodness so before i go i'll tell you this story last night on instagram those of you who follow me you might have seen i posted a little picture so Matt took a picture of me in the pool, uh, a hot tub thing, at, at Modest Shore Lokes the other week, and I really liked it, but then the more I looked at it, the more I thought, oh, do I look, do I look fat in this picture? And I was umming and ahhing about whether to post it, and I thought, what am I umming and ahhing for? I don't look fat, I look great, and 
just because my body isn't as toned as I'd like it to be right now doesn't mean I should hide it away so I kind of put all those thoughts down into a bit of a rambly comment micro blog thing underneath it and I posted it and the response was incredible like so many of you commented and said thank you for the words and that it really helped you and I was like oh I'm so glad I posted this I feel like I've really helped a lot of people and then <laughs> There was a few, wasn't there? There always is. Somebody called me chubby. Um, somebody, because it pulls through to my Facebook page, um, my, you know, ex Amelia ex business page. Um, somebody just left a comment going, oh my God, you are so fat. <laughs> and and then the somebody was just like, I, I, it was just a real facepalm moment. Do you know what I mean? Like, can you not see that this post is trying to uplift so many people and yet some people just still still try and nitpick and it wasn't i don't know on some level yeah i guess they they do sort of make you think and go oh my god am i am i a bit chubby um i don't think i am so it hasn't affected me really in in that respect it's more just the whole really guys really like somebody you can somebody's trying to be really positive here and trying to do a good thing and you still and it just drove me mad and then there was a few things on twitter as well where i just felt like i was being nitpicked at and i just had enough <laughs> and um yeah so i'm just gonna bury my head in work this week and um, crack on producing awesome content for you guys, videos and blog posts. Um, again, if you do come over to the blog and read some posts, um, leave a comment there too, because that, that's a real big help for me. Um, it doesn't so solve anything. It doesn't like get more people viewing them or anything. It's just, it's literally just um, for me to, to know that people are reading what I'm writing about. Because a lot of the time, you know, I do do, superficial beauty reviews every now and again but um a lot of the stuff that i'm writing about is really serious stuff and from the heart and it's just nice to get a bit of feedback because it can be quite lonely really lonely um and i found that a lot this week like i've been really really lonely this week uh living alone and working from home as well so a bit miserable that I've got another week of that ahead of me but I'm gonna try like I said I've got a um, cinema date with Sam to where we're gonna have pizza so that'll be nice um might try and go to pretty pots at some point as well maybe tomorrow or something or Saturday and I'll see people at the Bumble event so that would be really nice anyway I'm gonna go thank you so much for sticking with me on this really really boring vlog um yeah, not really a lot's happened, has it? Oh no, Lucy and Lauren and Matt got their happy boxes to cheer them up a bit. So that was that was nice, wasn't it? Um, I'll leave all the information for that down below. So if you want to cheer up one of your friends, you can send them a happy box down there. Um, yeah, that's it. So I won't see you next week for a wiki vlog. I just feel like I, I can't produce another. <laughs> Here's my sat at home vlog. I just, I, I can't. I feel like I need need to wait until something actually happens even though I know you guys like the boring ones as well just for me I think it's not exciting content to produce so it kind of kills it a bit for me so um yeah have a look through some of my other videos that we're putting out I've got a teeth whitening review I've got that lip plumper review I've got a easy pasta recipe I have got a fuller bust ASOS haul and review coming up as well which I haven't filmed yet but that's gonna be fun this week um, I'm gonna do a DIY how to tint your eyebrows at home I've got loads coming up so yeah there'll be stuff to keep you motivated and keep you entertained or just have a look through the archives and have a laugh at some old videos anyway eight minutes bloody hell this is going to need some editing down which is what i'm going to do today so i'm going to leave you here as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye very good like it i stand corrected said the man in the orthopedic shoes ah okay this could be quite serious Good morning everyone.